rather get a few kicks this week and us win. So I'll be looking forward to doing that. It would be a game where North was tactically superior, stronger in the physical clashes, and in the end, that was parlayed into a 14-point win. Carey would be given room to move. His expected clash with Glenn Jakovic did take place, but this time the North skipper would win hands down in a three-vote performance. In the first quarter, he was brilliant setting up goals. I'd be pretty pleased because the West Coast could be well and truly uh, further in front at this moment. There it is. Well, there's the one bell. Goes into goal and gets it. Brady Anderson has the free kick. 97 Sandover medalist. Jakovic took up the four nominations. Carey, good hand pass. Puts it up a goal to Rock. And does, he's kicked it. Abraham running free as per their setup. Then, in a seven minute burst in the second quarter, he'd kicked three in a row. This was classic Carey. Was he being held? What matter? He'll kick a goal. And he has. Strict. I think one of the keys to it is his fitness just enables him and his flexibility enables him to go with just about any sort of player on the ground. Tall, short, mobile, whatever. Rock. Start on the bench. Carey really lunged at that one to take the mark in front of his adversary. The goal here will level the scores. Carey's kick one and a hand in another. Just it won't be a problem for him. Just on 50. It's coming around. It's coming back. It's close. Given it a goal. Right half back. Oh, it's a terrible kick. Absolutely terrible. Straight into the arms of Archer as if he picked him out. If it hadn't have been Archer, it would have been uh, Pickett who was standing just behind him. Brady Anderson. Carey leading Jakovic to the ball. He's got Scott on offer. Goes the other way. Backs his judgment. Carey takes on his long time adversary. Goes at goal. Is that his third? Great play from Carey. When Winston Abraham goaled, the Roos were in front by 13 points, a 27-point turnaround in the quarter. Out of the centre, David King was working overtime. In defence, Glenn Archer showed his courage after being flattened by John Worsfold. Things settled down after that hectic second term. North would kick only four more for the match, but it would be enough to register a 14-point win. Oh, that is sensational! As good as King! Archer oh. goes through solidly, copped a hard one in the first half, but he seems to be okay. Bell gives it back to Pike again. He's recognisable from when he played at Fitzroy, he certainly has found something. Call player, touch. Yes, it is. Peter Matera has to do just that. Good enough to try to get the Morrison. Oh, he runs at the ball, slapped out to King. King goes goalward, touched by McIntosh. They might get another dip at it here. Abraham, two metres out, kicks the goal. Pike says go, and he does. What a revelation he's been this year. They kick up towards centre half forward. Eagles with the numbers. Simmons got a little bit of a push out. Eagles fans looking for a free kick. The umpire says no, boys, play on. Got the spare man deep in attack too. North Harvey, Melbourne. this should be a goal to North Melbourne. Scholl, easy as you like, five metres out, kicks the first one of the final quarter. It comes out to King, who's been a very good player at both ends of the ground today. Just outside 50, long kick. Carey and McIntosh, this is important, Carey has Fortun taken them up. Sorry, but fortunately, because he had Abraham 15 minutes in front of him, King, all it had to be was a handball or a short kick over the top. And fortunately, he had the quality of someone like Carey up there, one out who could take that mark. It could have easily been through for a point. Perhaps fittingly, could kick the match-winning goal here. It may be early to say that with seven minutes remaining, but this is a vital kick. Which he gets. Carey with five was superb, King brilliant. Where did you feel you were in control at what point of the game? Well, I never thought it was just a, an ebb and flow contest all the way through, Mark. Um, you know, uh, we got our nose in front, I think we might have even got the full goals. The Eagles, to their credit, came back and, and we knew they would and made it a real contest all day and, you know, you never, never can be sure. Uh, we kicked the goals that mattered, took our opportunities when they were presented and unfortunately they didn't, uh, uh, didn't kick their goals when, they, when maybe they, they, they could have. Archer might well have bounced back after his tussle with Worsfold, but later in the week he would be outed for two weeks after being cited on trial by video. North had been unhappy with the umpire's treatment of its star player Wayne Carey, 
the club would make its feelings known. And we didn't want to, uh, uh, to happen that way. And that's all I really want to say about it. We, were you happy with the outcomes of the discussions you had? I just said I didn't want to talk about it anymore, Matthew. We make mistakes and people keep saying, we were wrong. Well, yeah, but it's like the players, they, they make mistakes as well. All the talking and press conjecture about Wayne Carey's treatment at the hands of the men in white meant little when the Roos played the Demons. Carey